everyone, I am back, functioning camera, functioning computer, and I have every intention of being a consistent YouTuber. So I thought today I would start off with my July favorites. So for the summertime, I really like to just kind of enhance the natural glow that's already happening since I live in Southern California. Um, I'm not really into makeup in the summer. I'm really into taking care of my skin and yeah, just enhancing the bronziness. So my first favorite, now I used Bare Minerals way back when, when I first started wearing makeup and then, I mean, I liked it but I've since moved on and then I rediscovered this little product called Warmth and I fell in love with it again. Now I don't know if they make this in a pressed version but I think that would be the only thing that I would change just because loose products are just, I don't know, I feel like they turn me off, like they make me a little bit less inclined to use them just because pressed is easier for me and I know I'm not going to make a mess. But I love this bronzer, um, or I guess it's an all over face color. But it's just very natural, and I think my dog is moving my tripod. <laughs> but I, it's very natural. Um, bronzers tend to always look orangey on my skin, just like foundations tend to always look too pink. So, hi, baby. Say hello. So, this is just perfect. It's like a ready kind of terracotta brown, and it just enhances any sun that I've already gotten. And I've been loving it. It's matte, I think I would say. And yeah, I just kind of put it where the sun has already touched my face. And I love it. So, rediscovery. Next thing is my moisturizer, which is by, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's Sarav, Sarah V. Dermatologist that I don't have anymore actually recommended this to me a while back and I've been using it ever since but I just love it and it's my skin is super sensitive to any product with a fragrance or too many ingredients or anything so this has been perfect for me all along and I noticed I've been I am really into skincare so I've been hearing a lot of things about hyaluronic acid and I realized that this moisturizer actually has hyaluronic acid in it, so that's a plus, I guess, from what I've heard. The next product along with skincare has been my Cebu India. What's the matter, baby? Okay, so it's been my Cebu Beauty um, Sea Buckthorn Balancing Facial Cleanser, and once again, great for my sensitive skin. It's just easy. I get mine from Whole Foods. I actually before this had the bar kind, the bar cleanser, which I might actually like more aside from this being easier for the packaging and I can keep it in the shower and it's not gonna, you know, melt, get melted away. But it is awesome. They didn't have the bar at the Whole Foods, the Whole Foods that I went to this time, which, which is why I got this one, but I've been loving it also, so. Maybe next time I'll go back to the other Whole Foods and get the bar, or I don't know if they still make it, but I like that one as well. Alright, I'm just kind of going in a random order, but the next one is my Crest 3D White um, Whitening Mouthwash. And this time I got the alcohol free, just because I thought, why not? But um, I've used both kinds and I love them. It says they, um, it's from the makers of White Strips, and I feel like it has a very similar effect. I Coffee is my vice and I also love having white teeth so I want to let that one go. So this is awesome. I love it and I notice a significant difference when I use this and I love it. It's just less time consuming than doing the white strips and it's way more inexpensive and I get awesome results. Now I have two perfumes that I've been using this summer. I love both of these. Um, one, the first one, 
Bobbi Brown Beach I actually got last year and I didn't really use it that much last year um, but this year brought it back out and it smells like sunscreen which is kind of a love-hate thing I think for people but for me it's a love I love that smell no, it's just it's straight up like lathering sunscreen on you going to the beach and I guess that's what she was going for which I dig it wouldn't use it in any other season but the summer but yeah I love it I've been using it like on days when I'm gonna be outside because I feel like if I wore this to my job which is indoor it'd be a little like why does she have all that sunscreen on Next one my boyfriend actually bought for me around New Year's we stopped oh yeah we went away to the desert for New Year's and then we stopped at the outlets on our way back and I got DKNY Be Delicious which I've been wanting for a really long time and I love this perfume it is I really like I have a collection of perfumes which maybe I should do a video on but I get sick of perfumes so easily so I'm very has I went on kind of a perfume buying spree at one point and I bought tons of perfumes but <sighs> I get sick of them really easily but this I have worn almost every day if I'm not well except for the days when I wear this one but year round every day I could wear this and I don't think I'll ever get sick of it it's just so fresh it doesn't give me a headache it like I love it it just it's fresh and it's fruity and I think it's perfect. The next thing was actually a point perk gift that I picked out when I had earned enough points at Sephora and it's the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan uh, Medium Dark Everyday Moisturizer. Just a sample, it's almost gone. But I t I'm a big fan of maxi dresses, so I just feel like my legs, even in the summer, don't get enough sun on them. So sometimes I want a little boost for my legs. So I every time I am feeling like they need a little color, I just have been um, putting this on. And I wake up the next morning, and I feel like I have a little color. So um, yeah, I've been just mainly using it on my legs. and. I like it. It's very natural. I just feel like, oh, my son got a little, my, my son got a little legs. My legs got a little sun yesterday, but they didn't, so that's awesome. So, like I said, not very into a lot of makeup in the summer, just kind of enhancing. So, two things that have been great for that have been this Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in 018 Addiction, and I have just loved this. It just works under pretty much any lip color that I choose to put on under lip gloss, lipstick, and it just gives you that natural fullness. And um, yeah, it's awesome. It's almost, shoot, it's almost gone. I guess I need to get a new one because I think I broke half of it off because I was getting a little too aggressive. But I love this. It's just a really neutral color to go under anything. And sometimes I just line so like, to, like right now I'm wearing it and I just line my lips and put a lip gloss over but sometimes I fill in the whole thing if I want a long wearing lip for um, work or a night out. So that's awesome. My last favorite is MAC Mystery Eyeshadow. Now all my other eyeshadows I have depotted in Z palettes and MAC palettes but this is the one and only eyeshadow that I keep in its packaging so low because it is I use this for everything I use it to fill in my eyebrows I use it to as liner because I don't like to use liner really in the summer because I just smudging and this is just awesome I use it to I used it on the top and the bottom today instead of eyeliner I use it to fill in my eyebrows I use it to darken my crease and I keep it in my makeup bag so it's the only one that I keep by itself it kind of it has a magnet because at one point I thought I was going to put it in my palette and then that didn't last because so I was like, I need this on the go with me. I should probably just get another one. But that was my July favorites. I hope you guys are doing awesome. If you are still subscribed to my channel, you are amazing.
and <laughs> I am gonna be more consistent and I'm actually so excited and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon. I promise this time. <laughs> Bye guys.